Hello guys, today we're going to have a very short video, but I'm going to show you a very important concept in Angular. Uh, so basically it's related to RxJS operators and today I'm going to show you how we can multiple or how we can do multiple requests and multiple subscriptions without using this dot subscription inside the subscription I need another subs subscription and so on. So uh, let's begin. We first have to fix the small issue here because as you can see here we uh, have an error that says we cannot find crypto in our component yes. Uh, row 5. If I go to our details component TS, yes, you can see here that I have an import which is unused first. Second, I believe that this import was made by mistake when I was typing something. Um, hit enter and after that the import appears and I have the missed that because we don't need the thing that I was typing and hit enter and that is why this import appears. So basically um, these things can happen when you do such things so it's important to go through and see if there is something like that the console will tell you most of the cases so listen to the console and remove this if we remove this we can see that here if we save we're expecting that everything will be okay now so if we go to our application here it is it is working properly i believe now yeah it is okay so the second step here is to a little bit make this code prettier and for this we're going to use an rxjs operators so first thing first let me just write a function here which is called fetch data as you can see here, we have um, we're relating on this that we're going to have an ID from subscription from the URL parameters, and after that we're calling our service with this ID. So I'm going to show you how we can do that without this first subscription right here. We're going to use pipe, um, which uh, allows us to combine multiple functional parameters in chain. So <clears throat> basically here. Uh, we can evoke this dot pipe because it is an observable um, method or we can because it's a static we can call it the observable dot pipe but it doesn't matter I'm just uh, going to show you and you're going to understand what I mean so here when we say um, route this route and after that dot params instead of subscribe to this uh, result we're going to say dot pipe as you can see it is visible and here I'm allowed to combine multiple functional parameters in chain so basically I'm going to use map so I'm going to say map and this map is going to be imported from RxJS RxJS is a really good library you can find whatever whenever you whatever you need for observables so I highly recommend you to go through this library and see what uh, does it have. So I'm going to say rxjs slash operators and map is from here. After that, when we have done that, we have to think what are we going to need. So we're going to have some params here, right? Okay, so if we have these params, the next step is to go to another function here which will be uh, some function that does some logic from us so here as you can see we need this id okay so basically i don't need to make a variable here a variable here but i can do something like this i can make a constant which will be id and this id will be equal to this params id I'm going to extract the ID from these params, okay? And after that, I'm going to return the result. So basically, I'm going to say return ID. The next step here, as a second parameter of this pipe, it's going to be, let me just find where it goes, here. It's going to be <clears throat> the second thing I want to, to show you here, which is merge map. Merge map, again, is from RxJS operators. And here in merge map, we can use whatever we have 
piped and mapped in the previous function. So basically, I can say that here I'm expecting the ID and this ID is going to go to our service function. So basically, I'm going to say this dot cat service dot get cat. And here, instead of giving this ID, I'm going just to give this from this uh, parameter here. So I'm going to specify the ID. And after all of this, I'm able to subscribe to this. So basically, uh, because this pipe returns an observable, I'm able to subscribe to this and say dot subscribe and say the result here is going to be uh, stored in my variable, which in this case is this dot cat is equal to result. Okay, so the second step here, I'm going to comment that for a second and I'm going to call my fetch data function. Here, I'm going to save that and I'm going to go to my application. Let me just check if the server is reloaded. Yeah, it is. So if I go to cats uh, slash five, you can see that it is working the very same way uh, right now. And it is the same as before as result. But the code here is much more cleaner. If you have multiple subscription, we, we can handle them with this uh, merge map operator with the help of this pipe operator.